welcome back to my channel it's your girl tiana here if you guys want to see how i achieved this mermaid look just keep watching so for this halloween i wanted to make it super easy for you guys to achieve this look um i got a bunch of things from walmart and they're just super inexpensive honestly you can do these makeup looks quick and simple for you guys to just go to the store and get whatever you need and and if not you guys probably have it at your house so um, I went to Walmart and I got um, some cute little accessories for this. Um, I got some little face jewels. I got a stencil and I also got some more face jewels. So this is just a super easy, quick kind of tutorial for you guys to achieve to just make you guys look cute instead of like, you know, kind of scary. Just make you guys look, you know, cute or whatever. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to start off with priming my face and doing everything that I normally do on a daily basis. First, I like to exfoliate my lips before I start anything. So I'm going in with my Tiana X1 Enchanted Rose Sugar Scrub. And this is one of my favorites. It just literally gets everything off of your lips like it gets all the dead skin cells and it also has rose in it so it's super ultra hydrating this is honestly like my favorite thing so then I'm just gonna take a rag that's wet and just take it off immediately after it's very important to hydrate your lips so I go in with any of our lip glosses that we have at shop Tiana x1 today I'm gonna be going in with the enchanted rose lip gloss and this is in the flavor rose. This has a soft spot in my heart because it's literally the first lip gloss that I came out with. And it's honestly one of my favorites. Um, and it always will stay dear to my heart because it is an OG. So once I've already exfoliated my lips and also added moisture to my lips, I'm going in with a primer. I'm going in um, with the Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. I really want this look to be kind of like a glowy, beautiful kind of look. A nice, luminous glow, which I just love that. So I just want to put a little bit more on these areas. I feel like I'm a little bit dry. So I'm going to also go in um, with the June & Co. Moonshine. So after I put my primers on, I like to color correct. So going in with my... LA Girl Pro Concealer and um, this is the green one. So this one I'm just going to go ahead and put over all my redness and okay so then I'm going to go in with lavender and I'm just going to go a little bit underneath my eyes just because I feel like it's a little bit hollow under there and I just want to bring it back to life. Also brighten so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So then after I go ahead and do that, I'm going to take my little sponge and just kind of just blend it in there. So then after that, I'm going to be going in with my foundation. Um, I like to mix these two to get my perfect kind of shade. So then I just go in with my Morphe M439 brush. And I like this because it just buffs everything out super fast, super easy. And it just blends everything in, gives you full coverage. So good. I love it. I just feel like the combination of the brush and the beauty blender is just honestly so beautiful and so flawless that I just always have been doing that just because it's just literally, it's honestly, gives you such a beautiful, beautiful kind of coverage. So now we're going to go into contouring the face and of course I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in Beautifully Bronze and this has been my favorite contour shade for the longest. Spray my face. Let that dry a little bit, not too much. Then I go in with my beauty blender and I go to town. I feel like when I spray a setting spray, um, it just helps me blend it more seamlessly and honestly just is so much better to blend. It's just so much faster and I love blending it like this. 
Guys, if you don't have Tiana X1 mirror, you guys need one because literally this has saved me so many times with making sure everything's blended in. It helps me make sure that I put on my lashes correctly. It literally saves your life. Like when you're doing your makeup, like I am telling you, like you will see everything on your face and make sure everything's blended in when you are looking super closely and just you just see how like flawless your makeup looks after you've used your mirror like honestly i never used a mirror i would just use my vanity mirror but you can't get as close as you would like to so that is like the downfall of a vanity mirror and so that's why like i made these because i was like i need something closer like i need and if i feel like this imagine how other people feel so I definitely had to come out with these because I was like, my girls need, need one of these, like period, because it just helps you so much. So next for concealer, what I'm going to be using is, so I'm going to be using two concealers to get my perfect shade. Um, I'm using the Hydrating Camo Concealer and the 16 Hour Camo Concealer. And these are from e.l.f. This one has a little bit more yellow in it, which I love because I do have more of the yellow undertones. Concealer like this because it just gives me a nice lift. And then I also take the access and just go up. And it just gives you that nice lift. Like, as you can see, like, this one has a nice lift. This one is more kind of, you know, just regular. But this has a nice little lift. Going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Banana. For this, I like to first go in with a small sponge and just start underneath my eyes. I also like to make sure that there's no creases whatsoever underneath my eyes. And then I also like to make sure that I'm not looking any type of way to create um, those creases under my uh, under my eyes. So I try not to look down. Okay, so the products that I'm using for my eyebrows is Benefit, and it's called the Cabral. And the color that I'm using is in 4.5. Um, I'm done filling them in. I just go in with the Gimme Brow in 4.5. And then kind of just go over the hairs. Okay, and then I go in with... The 24 hour brow setter and then I just go over the hairs again and this will just keep it all in place so after that we're gonna go in with our eye look so with our eye look today I'm going to base it off of these bad boys so it has kind of like a reflective kind of look to it so it has like a purple and a bluish look so like in some lighting it looks blue some lighting looks um, purple so we're going to do a purple kind of pink purple blue kind of look um, kind of mimicking the skeleton that's on there we're gonna be going in with an oldie but a goodie this is the 35b um, they actually switched out this palette I believe to the James Charles palette um, but nonetheless, it has the same colors. So first we're going to start off with the eye makeup first, and then we're going to go in with the stencil just to see where we would like to put our color in. All right. So make sure your brushes are clean. I literally just got, um, I was playing around with this look before I actually started. So they have the same colors that I used. Um, so, um, but for you guys who are going to be doing this look, just make sure that your brushes are clean. I'm going to go in with my M431 brush. And of course, I'm going to be taking my mirror because you need this for this. You need to get close up in there. So first, we're going to start off with the P. Louise base. 
So for the P. Louise base, I'm going in with the M224 brush and that's just a flat brush like this. So I like using this because I can just clean off the bottom of my eyebrow with this. Alrighty. So you're just going to make sure that your whole eyelid is primed. Then you're going to take your sponge and just blend it in. Some people don't do this. Some people do. I do. I feel it has the same effect if you just leave it wet or if you put a sponge on it. I feel like it has the same effect. I don't see anything different. I'm going to start off first with the one that's called Fuchsia. And this is kind of like a purple pink kind of look. So I'm going to just blend it in with the bikini. It's more of like a pink look. Just take this color and just pat it in there. I love how intense it is. It's so pretty. Okay. So I'm just kind of going in this motion and just patting it. Now I'm going to just take the Morphe M456 brush and just kind of just blend that out a little bit. Then I'm going to take Sigma E30. I believe it's, it's almost the same as the one that I was taking before, the M three um four three one brush um it's just a little bit smaller so i'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in the middle and why i did it this way was because when you mix the pink and um the blue together it comes it makes this beautiful purple um especially when you're mixing these colors so i just love how it looked when I was doing it earlier, so I was like, this, this is what we're doing. So then right below that, you're gonna do the nice blue. Then you're gonna take your Morphe M506, and you're just gonna kind of blend that through, like a wind wiper. Then you're gonna see that purple pop up. There you go, and that's the purple that you wanted. Okay, so then now you're gonna take the brush that you use the pink on and take the access and just blend it upwards. Then we're going to take that same brush that we use, the M431, and just pack more pink on there. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with nothing on it. And it is M441. I'm just going to take that pink that you just laid down and just blend it out like that. More of this blue and just kind of work our way up here. It's just so you can kind of see the transition. Because I have hooded eyes, so it's kind of like a little bit difficult to sometimes see the transition because of the fact that um, I have hooded eyes. back with that M506 brush and just blend it in there. All right, so then should look like this. I love this look guys like normally like when you guys see me I normally wear like nude colors and all that stuff so it's so much fun for Halloween just dressing up and just getting to play with like fun colors. Just blend it a little bit more upwards. So before I start doing the other eye I'm just going to start taking off this bake on my face. Okay, so now we're going to just do the same process that we did on the other eye.
All right, so then it should be looking something like this. So then now we're gonna take a Q-tip and then also take some makeup remover and just clean up. Then now we're gonna add some more P. Louise base with our flat brush M224. When you're going to the line where it meets your eyeshadow, Make sure you're just pressing it with the tip of the brush. And then if you mess up, don't worry, because you can always go back and fix it. So right now, I'm just going to leave it like this, and then we can get on to adding the scales and all that stuff. But I'm going, and we're just going to leave it like that for now. Just wait till it dries a little bit, just so we can go in with some glitter. So we're going to first do the scale. We're going to take our stencil. And we are just going, all right, so for this part, I'm not, I can't really see for this part. So for this part, I'm just, okay, so this is, should, this doesn't really need to stick to you. And I look crazy right now, I know. But, okay, so we're going to use the same colors that we did. Try using the same brushes that you did already. So I'm just going to start with that fuchsia and that pink. You're going to have to hold it with one hand. After you've added your bronzer for some color, what we're going to do, we're going to just add a little bit more color to the cheeks, to the forehead. Actually, before we start with the face jewels, I'm going to go in and start doing pearls on the eye. First, I'm going to map them out with some glue, so I'm going to just put on like like right here. Okay, then I'm gonna put a pearl diamond, pearl diamond. So once we've done that, I'm gonna do it for the other eye too. I'm just gonna... So you have to be like very careful with these face jewels because I think I already messed it up. <laughs> I am going to position it in the middle. I'm gonna do a little bit farther down. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. On the waterline, we're gonna take this Wet n Wild Multi Stick and it's in white. And then we're just gonna go on. I like it because it's super creamy, which is really good. Okay. I'm going to take our glitter primer from NYX and put it on all over the eyelid. I go in with the other eye, do the same thing. This is from House of Sparkle. This is called Princess. So then I'm going to take the M124. Put it in there. Okay. We're going to put the diamond and the pearls on there now. So now we're going to work on the lash line. Alright, then we're going to take the M431. Take that pink and that purple and then go lower. Um, we're just going to do a nice peach color. I don't know the name of this. I've had this MAC palette for a while now, so I don't know the name, but it's just a nice peachy kind of color. Just a little bit on the nose. Alrighty. So now we're going to move on to the lashes. The lashes that I decided that I'm going to wear for this look is going to be Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker is one of my extra ones. I just feel like for a Halloween look, um, you got to go all out for it. So I'm going to be using Heartbreaker today. Heartbreaker is super fluffy. She's honestly like, oh, she's so gorgeous. And honestly, she's like probably the best candidate for um, Halloween. I'm telling you guys. 
All right, so we're gonna put some mascara on, and so we're gonna use the Essence Lash Princess. All right, so I'm gonna take my tweezers. I'm gonna put some lash glue on there. Wow, she just literally puts the look together. Like, honestly, wow. Now I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera. For my highlighter, and I'm just, and this is from Makeup Revolution as well. I'm just gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna put some over here just so it can look glowy and shiny. And then I'm gonna just put some on my nose, the bridge of it. do a nude lippy and I'm taking it I'm taking Becca in sugar and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just go in with that enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post if you like this video and want to see more videos like this make sure to give me a thumbs up in the comments below let me know what Halloween costume you guys are planning on wearing this year love you guys <laughs>